Welcome again, everyone, to another outdoor edition of Jerry's Old Guy Review. This wasn't really planned, and the director is confused. She's, well, I guess she's going to supervise from right there. So, I'm going to try to do this. I guess we have a forest fire pretty close to us, so I'll try to stop talking when the airplanes fly over. It's been a pretty exciting day. But not too exciting that I couldn't come out. Today was my driving day. And as you can see, I drove a lot of rigs. Now, everybody here, except for one, has had a full pack through because in a Jerry's Old Guy review, first ever, we're naming an obstacle, and we're going to see more of this, but the obstacle in question. Now this used to be an old garden pond. I flipped it over, put a little bracing in it, covered it with cement, put some broken cinder blocks on top. It looks like a volcano. Now, I had built it and hadn't tested on it. So I may have built the best obstacle ever, or I need to rethink it a little bit and make some approach angles better. So we're going to try to do this without the camera catching my finger. So this is a way to get up to top. And this is a way to get up to the top. This, too steep. So I may put more rocks here to make this a little easier. But where I smeared all the cement on it, it's, it's pretty sticky. But it's at such an incline that almost everything gets its belly caught up here. And then it just flips over to the side and it can't go up the obstacle. There is no way on this obstacle to get a line. So first was I figured the flagship Gladiator would have no problem. Nope. Being as long as it is, it's belly caught up first. And it's got high racks on it. Those high racks could not get enough grip with the incline to pull it over. Next up was the Gen 2 Red Cat with J Concepts landmines on it now. It gets to about the same level that the Gladiator. Both of them have portals. Doesn't help them out one bit. Next up in the blue trunks was the good old reliable SCX-102 Blazer. Nick, as I like to call him. Nick's got straight axles on him. Didn't do any better, didn't do any worse. So now I had gotten a message from Muskie about doing a comparison against all the portal vehicles. So I decided to make this a comparison against the straight axles. So after Nick tried it, then I brought out, because Nick is bone stock. He has got some Duratrax crawler tires on him, but that's it. Same thing with the Red Cat, he just has different tires on him. But the element, like the Gladiator, has weighted parts down low. The tires, they're the stock tires, but I vented them. And it made a world of difference once I vented them. They worked way better. Didn't help it. It couldn't get up there any better than the Gladiator did. Or, for that matter, any better 
than the Red Cat or the Blazer did. So I said, okay, let's get after it with another straight axle. So I brought out the old classic SCX-10 OG, running the tires that were on the Blazer. No difference. He couldn't get up any higher. I actually kicked him in the ass at one point, and he did get up a little higher, but that wasn't on his own. So now to make it even, three straight axles needed another portal axle. So I brought out a TRX-4. And he did the worst. He's running the stock tires that I cut, and it didn't make any difference. And he, if you remember from over here on Dead Man, Dead Men Pass, on the backside of right here, there's the incline that comes up and over. Everybody on this friggin' stand made it up that to include Dun dun dun! The Jimny. The Jimny made it up that backside. TRX4 could not. So now I'm either rethinking this obstacle or it's going to be the greatest obstacle for the greatest truck in the world that I must build to conquer this obstacle. But Looking at the similar technologies on almost every RC car, I don't think there's any build that's going to conquer that. So I'm going to have to rethink it, put a little more, little more rocks down low to let those trucks be able to get past the smoother sections that they're slipping on. Now the Wendigo couldn't make it up it either, but. The Wendigo was just out here because I wanted to run him because I took the rear sway bar off of him, put it on the front, put a reef sway bar on the rear, courtesy of Exo Cage RC, who gave me the idea. And it handles a little bit better, but my half an acre of backyard is not big enough for that friggin' truck. It needs to run free somewhere else. So, I was running that, running the poor dogs. We've been in the mud pit. But I'll tell you, this little Jimny, MST, this little guy has impressed me. You know, and I know the earlier videos I showed of it running, those were... Oh, he's hung up already. Those were some nice, easy driving. You know, nothing too much. Just scale driving. But today, he has gotten a workout. He is dirty. He is scratched. He is rolled. He can fight his way up things. The girls, yeah, Audrey... They've been yelled at today. They do not like the Jimny. But that little truck right there, for the money you spend on these MSTs, I can't wait to get the next one. But it's so low, those diffs hang up so easy. But meanwhile, it looks cool. That little baby truck just running it's so low it hangs up on all those little rocks. But it can't even make it to where the big trucks. At least the big trucks got... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Poor little fella. He worked his damnedest. Magic. So, you just seen what he did. I've done that about 50 times today. Nothing has broken on him. The mirrors are still on. The snorkel is still on. 
and it is such a cute little thing. Let's go over to the mud pit again. Where is the mud pit? Right there? There's the mud pit. Not super great. He's so light he doesn't sink very much. But meanwhile, he did pretty good for a little fella going through the mud pit. The big trucks will sink in there. Well, he's halfway up. Oh, can he get through? Oh, he got through. So there you go, guys. Just a guys and gals. A little observation from my day of fun. I thank all of you that told me to just get out and drive this weekend. I was already on my third truck before I even realized supposedly we had a fire. My daughter was calling us and I was just wondering why all the jackasses were flying their planes so low. But I like prop driven planes so it was a fun show. So all you guys I hopefully will have a driving video with the HC6 this weekend or this week because I cleaned everything out today. I've just been focused on this one obstacle and didn't get much else done. So, till the next one, thank you guys for viewing, liking, and subscribing. This is Jerry. Have a good week at work. Uh, bye bye.